Jesse from Gun Grooming, and today we're going to be de-shedding an Australian mix who is senior. So keep watching. Oh, Ooh, look at all this. This is going to be nice coming off. Yeah, you're going to be a nice de-shed today, baby girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And mostly with this breed, I usually have them lay down or sit the entire time so that we're not keeping them on their legs. But I just wanted to show you her back end of how thick all this is. Usually what I do is I brush them out before we're doing the D-shed because a lot of times the shampoo might not get through and this will help bring back the natural oils of their coat and especially help with D-shed later. But because she's an old lady and she needs this done we're just going to go ahead and do the d shed so that she's not on her legs feet the entire time three out of four recommend it three yeah three out of four of us recommend it so in here i have a research system that we self-built i put the shampoo in and this is not wasting water. This is recirking into a pump. Yeah, this this is the other D shed. Not huge fans of how it suds nor D sheds, right? Not yeah, a big the lathering. It's what? It smells like a chicken. It smells like you're cooking a rosemary chicken. <laughs> you're cooking a rosemary chicken. You hear that? So a lot of people that have seen my videos, I like to hook up the dogs with underneath the armpit, but she's an old lady, so. We're just gonna have this here for now, and if she wants to lay down, then I will just take this off, put a longer one on there. I do their head and face the last. Uh, dogs like to shake when they have water that reaches their head, face, ears, and they feel uncomfortable. They don't wanna move her that, that much with her feeling cold and legs hurt, but I can already start to feel it coming off. I love my rubber. I never use that. I use it all I guess it, I don't even think that, uh, I don't even remember. You know how you take your fingers and you yeah, do Yeah, I, I do that all the time. Yeah. I used to get like calluses and stuff on, on it because I was scrubbing with my fingers. Time, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I have to remember that for next time. Okay. I got you, baby girl. I got you. Okay, and I'm gonna go with her butt first so that her front will follow. And taking her butt first will eliminate her. If I took it from the front here, then I'm gonna put strain on these back legs here or even the knees. That's okay. Just needed a nice D shed. All right, so she's gonna sit in the tub for a good 10 minutes or so. Let me put some blueberry on her face and Christine, if you can hang out with her for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And just let her soak. Ooh, coming out nice. Look at all that. get a happy hoodie for her ears. Oh my, oh my gosh.
she needed that. Alright, you're... Ooh, look at that. That is either tree sap or gum. Smaller scissors. nails. I know, sweetheart. And she's a lot older, so they'll crumble. And I don't want to do this with her standing up. It's alright. I got you, sweetheart. I know. Just a little bit off. I know. I know. Real quick. Let me do. Add a girl. Good girl. I can always go back for more, but I want her to be okay. comfortable. do like the hairs back here I'm gonna do the front legs but when it comes to the back end I'm not gonna do that because she has trouble standing and their health is more important than the groom itself look at that chunk oh, still so much <laughs> yeah and I've already checked behind her ears if she has any knots or anything and she's good so I'm gonna start out with this brush as much as I can just make sure you don't scrape the skin and then we're going to move on to the undercoat rake and go from wide side to thin side. And we don't want to overbrush her. If you want to use a furbinator, you can. I'm not a big fan of a furbinator with a long to medium coat. And uh, we're using the wide side first and then flipping it over to the thin side. Okay, we're going to just finish up the rest of her and then she's, she's going to be all set, ready to go home, okay? Go, We'll do this as quickly as we can. Okay, next one. Right over here. Hi! You did a good job! Why don't you have a seat? Oh my god, she's still there. Got me, got me out. Alright everyone, this is a senior Aussie mix, and if you want to guess what else that she's mixed with, comment down below. So you, I'll see. <laughs> look at all this. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> she's gonna get her grooming video in a couple weeks. She's getting a grooming video. Oh, she looks great, you guys. She does a good job. Bye. Bye.